Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry of Mowers and Blowers! The weatherman says that we were supposed to get three inches of snow this morning. Now it's eight o'clock in the morning and it's nothing but rain. What else is new? Nine o'clock now. And, and it's snowing. Boba, be quiet! It's now 10 a.m. and it's uh, coming in nicely. Look at that. It's 11 o'clock and it doesn't look like it's sticking. They say about two more hours of this. I don't think I'll be able to use my snowblower. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers! Good morning. It's about uh, 38 degrees today. Much warmer than it has been. So... That's why I'm out here today in my garage, and we're going to finally figure out what's wrong with this steel TS-400. What they call it is a drop-off, cut-off, or concrete saw. These things are very expensive. Thousands of dollars. Uh, I've seen used ones for like $800, new like $1,800, $2,400. Depends on what model you get. Uh, anyway, I worked on one of these things a while back, maybe a year or so ago, a Husqvarna, and 90% uh, of the problems with these concrete saws is because they're used to cut concrete, right? Uh, driveways, asphalt, that kind of thing, but mostly concrete. Uh, and you can also cut steel with it too if you wanted to, if you change the blade, whatever, but I think this one's designed for concrete. Uh, anyway, because of the concrete dust that emits from the cutting, right? The dust is so fine that if you don't regularly check, clean, or replace the air filter element in here, right, that fine dust will make its way into the um, engine, right, and then build up around the piston rings and the engine bore area. Uh, the dust dries up that area where the oil is supposed to be, and... Uh, it seizes the piston or it compresses the piston rings into the piston so that it doesn't pop back out again. Therefore, you lose compression. So, uh, obviously, this thing doesn't start. It belongs to um, my friend, um, Alan, who uh, asked me to take a look at it for him. And I told him that 90% of the time, it's probably a complete uh, piston and engine rebuild. You know what I mean? Which is, you know... If you buy the Chinese copied kit, it's only like 50 to 80 bucks or something like that, or a hundred bucks. I, I don't know, depending on if they make it for steel, I'm sure they do. Um, and, and so it's not so expensive. So, but the work, the labor involved in putting it in, pain in the ass and it takes hours. So I feel that there is compression, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take apart this um, air filter element and just check out the condition of the uh, filter. If it looks like hell, then it's probably that reason. Um, also, I mean, look, there's a small chance that the carburetor is dirty too, but if you can see, this is the inner part of the, um, is this the pre-filter? This is probably the pre-filter. See what I'm saying? The pre-filter is saturated with lots of fine concrete dust. So at, this is probably a Dunsky uh, machine, probably. Uh, kind of a pain to remove all this stuff, but uh, you need a Torx thing to, to get this out. Um, so first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart this, this part here, um, just so we can get to at least the spark plug, where I'm gonna do a compression test with a compression tester, just to see what the compression is. Uh, compression, what they say is that it actually could run even with 85 PSI, but I think it ranges between 85 and um, 125, something like that. So if that range is still there, it should theoretically still run. Uh, it has a tag here that says true fuel, ethanol free, so we shouldn't have to worry about gumming. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean, but uh, I'm gonna try to figure out exactly how to remove these screws that take the top cover off. I know that there's a lever here for the uh, throttle and stuff that's kind of tricky on the inside. And if you don't unhook it, whatever, you'll never get this cap off. There's also a compression release 
uh, thing here, which I'm not too clear about, but I will try to start this. But I want to try to get this air filter off and just spray some go-go juice in there first, just to see if it'll at least turn over, you know? Before I do all that, just want to do a walk around for you guys so you guys can see exactly what's here. Uh, you have this choke lever here. This is full choke, half choke, and full run. It was here just before. Let's put it to full choke, okay? You've got some uh, Torx screws here. You've got this part over here, which I'm not sure of, but it looks like it can open up. Here's the start. I don't even know if I had that on there before. Start, run, off. Yeah. Safety handle for the trigger. Compression release, which I am not sure about how to do. Push in, pull out. Look, can you even get your hand there, you know? And over here is the main filter. As you can see, the pre-filter is terrible. Main filter is here and it's trashed. Looks like it's four Torx to get that out, which we're gonna do now. It has a, um, this thing or magic here where you can connect a water hose to it, right? With a, sh with a valve on and off so that while you're doing it, water can spray here and kind of uh, dampen out the um, dust. Here is the muffler cover, which we would have to remove all of this just to get access to remove this muffler. Why would we want to remove the muffler? Well, that's a good way to uh, check the piston to see if it's scored. So I don't um, feel too confident that this thing will run because of the evidence. If you just look at that filter, I mean, it's just trashed, you know what I mean? Which means all this dust has made its way to the carburetor, past the carburetor, and into where the piston and the bore is, which is probably all damaged. Got a T27. And it fits. So while I do this, I want to talk about uh, something to my regular subscribers. As you guys know, I was writing a book about prepper ship. You guys can look at my playlist and watch those two episodes of that. Uh, I stopped writing my book because I watched a movie called 2012, where at the end of the movie, they had exactly the same idea I did by building these huge, gigantic arcs to escape the, uh, the, the Holocaust, okay? Not the Holocaust, the uh, end, of, end of life, uh, Armageddon. And uh, I figured, hey, that's a much better storyline than mine, so what's, what's the point, right? Then some subscribers told me, oh, Henry, keep writing it. I'm like, you know what? You could just put a different twist to that um, storyline, so. It's really a waste of time if I did, you know? Uh, it, I thought my idea was a unique idea, but it's not. See how much of a pain in the ass it is just to remove the air cleaner? Crazy, right? I mean, there's got to be an easier way, right? I mean, let me get this off so I'll show you. Okay, we're almost there. It's the last one. And here it is. Here we go. Are you ready? Look at that, just, just from touching it. Fine, fine dust, almost like talc powder. All right, well, look at here. The inner part of it is relatively clean. It's just this outer part is totally clogged. You know what I mean? Could a lack of air getting in there cause it to do that? Maybe if you just change the air cleaner, could be done and you have another pre-filter here well this would probably be the post filter you know what i mean it's a good thing i'm recording this because i wouldn't know how to get this off but anyway it should be like this right and this should be like that so it's pretty clean here but the rest of it is just clogged over here you know so maybe that's the reason why anyways you could whoa this thing's pretty heavy too as you can see here i'm gonna open up the choke all right, 
we're gonna spray some go go juice in here this is a multi-purpose parts cleaner and degreaser from my friends over at lucas oil products i'm just gonna spray some go go juice into the carburetor when the mouth is open that's plenty i'm gonna close the choke we're gonna put it to start and we're gonna give it a couple of pulls. Now, should I pull this compression out? What is this for? You no. Know? All right, I pulled it out. You push it in and you pull it out. It's really tough to pull it out with your fingers because, well, it's so cold, you know? Uh, it has true fuel in here. Uh, I'm assuming it's two stroke, right? Either way, it, it should, you know, fire up a little. All right, let's try. Oh, this is tough to do when you're, it's on a table. I'm gonna put it on the floor. Okay, I've uh, brought this to the floor. I flipped the camera around so you guys can see. It's on choke, it's on start. Compression release lever is pulled out. Okay. Whoa, you got something there. I'm going to put it to half choke now. So we know we have spark, right? Now it's on full run. I don't know if that's ready yet, you know? Did we push the compression back down again? Let's put it back on choke again. I'm going to put it back on this uh, start lever. Compression's down. Ugh. I'm going to spray some more go-go juice in there. I'm going to open the choke again. I'm going to spray it into the carburetor once more. Close the choke. Give it another try. I'm going to lift this compression release again as I pushed it down. Now I pulled it up. I heard something. How about it? I'm going to take it off a choke to middle. Ugh. Getting something, fellas. I'm gonna put the full run. How about that, huh? It doesn't seem to be getting any fuel, though. It seems to just run for a little bit, you know? I'm going to push the compression back down. That doesn't seem to work. Uh, i got to relax for a bit. I'm going to have a heart attack. I put it on choke and just let it run for a bit. And then it, it's been running on choke for a bit. Try again. And it seems to be getting gas. And I'm going to put it in the middle and see what happens.
to run just fine. That's not good. I don't know how that happened. that lever down. I think it's uh, just the air cleaner. So as you can see, uh, it is obviously a two-stroke motor, right? So it says it has true fuel, ethanol free. But when you look at the gas, the true fuel that I have that's uh, two-stroke 50 to one is red. That just looks like regular fuel. You know what I mean? Do you think maybe this doesn't have any oil in it. What do you think about that? Right? Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this is not a four stroke machine. I doubt it because there's no obvious oil fi uh, oil fill uh, filler, you know, where you would put the oil. So this has to be a two stroke, right? Am I mistaken? TS 464cc. It doesn't have any obvious uh, markings to tell you that it's a uh, two-stroke. You know what I mean? I mean, you, I've never seen a four-stroke one, so it has to be a two-stroke. If it was a four-stroke, it should be an obvious oil uh, filler. Like it doesn't tell you 50 to 1, 40 to 1, 32 to 1, all that, you know? Which is very bad. So I just checked the specs online, and this is actually uh, exactly what I thought. It's a 50 to one mix, okay, for the TS-400 uh, and the TS-410. Uh, I checked the how much a new air filter would cost. I think the OEM ones are like over $35 or something, but if you buy the Chinese copies, they're only like 10 bucks. So uh, I'll ask Alan if he wants me to order a new air filter for it. And looks like we put that on, it should be just fine. I could try to clean the old one, but honestly, you know, for 10 bucks, it's not worth it, you know? Just get a new filter and put it in. So you use it a bit, uh, keep it running, warms up. It's very cold out today. 
use it for a while it'll stay idle for a bit you know for, uh, run just fine but uh, I don't see anything wrong with this other than the fact that I question whether or not this fuel is uh, has oil mix in it uh, but the guy's been using this for a while on the same fuel if you look at this thing here it says ethanol free true fuel uh, 6 1 2019 so he's been using this thing since 2019 if he if you put just regular gas in here right there's no way this would have lasted two years, you know, or three years. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this is the right fuel in there and it's got a mix. It just looks like regular gas, whereas my true fuel 50 to one is red. So I don't know, it runs just fine, I guess. Uh, just needs a new air filter. So again, I wanna show you how bad this is. It's really, really dusty really bad okay so uh you just need to get this new air filter uh, i guess you can get away with not having this pre-filter this one's okay but i think they all come with it you know and then remove this uh um foam element in here i mean just just look at that this is in the air filter, you know what I mean? So the air filter was clogged, therefore the uh, engine was not getting any um, air for the fuel. So once you gave it fresh air, it wasn't clogged, it took a little bit, but it started up relatively easily. So uh, while I said in the beginning about what the common problems these cutoff saws get, right? Um, I said 90% of the time, piston rings and the bore are done Steve, right lucky allen is part of that 10 percent where it's not even the carburetor being dirty and it's not a major problem <laughs> it's just like a 10 or 15 dollar air filter so uh to my friend allen who i hope is watching and i know you are darling you got away with murder, baby. This saw is in good shape, and uh, all you need is a $15 air filter. <laughs> Plus, you might have to give me a box of something. 223, 556, brass, for my troubles. Uh, Alan, I'll text you and ask you if you want me to order an air filter for you, because it does take a little bit to get it back in here again, you know? Uh, thanks a lot for joining me on today's cutoff saw troubleshooting result. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.